Hello friends, this is demo number three where we're going to use the Jupyter Notebook along with PySpark on top of Kubernetes in client mode, which uh, the support for client mode is new for Kubernetes Spark in 2.4. Uh, so to get started, let's go ahead and switch to live and then we're going to go over here. Um, this is my shell. And so the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that our Jupyter Notebook is configured in such a way we can access it. Um, so for me, I look in my .jupyter slash Jupyter config, um, and there's like a host name or so holden dash magic. Uh, so yeah, here. So there's a c.notebookapp.ip, and I configure that to be my publicly writable IP. Now that's okay because this isn't actually accessible to the internet and the only person on this vpc is myself uh, otherwise you'd want to do a more sort of serious configuration here uh, but for the point of today that's that should be enough we're going to launch our jupyter notebook yeeha and we're going to go ahead and uh, open this notebook yay uh, now all of the setup is in in the first one of these three demos. Um, so if you're watching and you're like, where's your Kubernetes cluster coming from? Uh, then go back and watch number one, and that'll give us a little bit of time to stall. So we're gonna make a new Python 3 notebook. Because um, I'm feeling fancy. And it'll take a second or two to run. Um, Okay, cool. And we're going to go ahead and import PySpark. Lovely. Uh, and then uh, from or PySpark dot conf. Hmm, I don't remember what I can do on conf. Let's take a look. Uh, so there's a like, there should be a conf dot set. I don't remember. I'm gonna go take a look at how we work with our uh, Spark Conf. Conf.py. PySpark. Um, oh, right, okay. There we go. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go conf.set and we're gonna start setting the properties that we need. Uh, so the first one is the master. So that one's a little easier because uh, there's this little helper function. And I'm going to go back and look at the last time we ran a Kubernetes job. Because uh, that has the master here. Uh, and so I'm running a Kubernetes proxy, which is why this is a local host IP address. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to call set. and. I wonder, hmm, um, I actually don't know what the property name is for deploy mode, deploy dot mode, hmm, uh, deploy, or let's go client, um, hmm. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm not sure how I set the client mode, how I set the deploy mode here. Um, hmm. That's a good question. Well, uh, Spark Submit should be the one that's doing it, so we'll go take a look at Spark Submit.scala. Deploy dash. Hmm. Okay, so deploy mode, it's spark.submit.deploy mode. Okay, so that's the parameter name that we're gonna set. Uh, so let's go here. So spark.submit.deploy mode, and we're gonna set that to client. And now we're gonna configure um, our driver port. Let's 
go ahead and make this one multi-line because I don't really like scrolling like that. And we're going to set our container image. Submit. So this is what I want to do because this was done by some shell variable substitution. So we're going to go ahead and echo this. So this is going to be our container image. Uh, yeah, let's put that on a line by itself. Uh, okay. And we're going to set its uh, spark container image. Isn't not so happy. Hmm. Okay, now yeah, it's just some syntax highlighting magic. Dot set. Next one we're going to do is, I guess we'll ask for two executors. And, and what else are we going to ask for? Oh, right. Uh, we need to set the service account name. to the word spark. Okay, so with that, we should be good to go. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do this. And now, um, PySpark.context, and it's there's a getter create syntax that I want to use. Um, just in case we re-execute all the cells. Uh, let's get or create. Yeah. Uh, dot spark context dot get or create conf equals conf. Cool. And this should give us a spark context. Um, I hope I configured everything correctly. Oh, I forgot to set the host name. Uh, it might do a good enough job on the host name on its own, though. We'll, we'll find out. Because um, the other parameter which I set over here is the Spark driver host name. And I set that to an IP address uh, just because I wasn't sure if my DNS was working. Um, but I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, looks like it did work. We can double check because uh, the Spark web UI should be up here, and we can take a look and see if the executor is registered. Um, this will just take a second. Looks like they didn't. Not the most surprising thing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop that, sc.stop. Dot set, and we're going to set our, um, uh, our host name uh, as, as before. And so it's... Uh, I just set it to the IP address, but you could set it to a host name if you had a, if your DNS was configured properly. Okay. Gives us a new conf. Oh, yeah, and I need to make it a multi-line string. Make a new Spark context. And then we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, okay, and that'll take a minute. Uh, cube CTL get pods. Um, oh, it looks like the image name is invalid. Uh, what did I set the image name? Oh, damn it. I set the image name to this. I didn't need this part here. Sorry. So the host name might have been fine. Uh, okay, so sc.stop once more. Run the conf. Get our Spark context. Do cube CT, I'll get pods. Looks like it's running. That's good. Can look at the logs coming in on the executors. Looks great. There's a blog manager started. Um, so we're going to do our word count. Uh, ASF 
diversity data Jupyter underscore new dot sh. So then we go ahead and we go x dot split on space. Uh, words dot map w w comma one dot reduce by key lambda x comma y x plus y. Uh, Oops. No, this is words dot map. I'm not happy. What's wrong? Oh, sh Shiza. So the problem is this one here is using Spark, is using Python 2. And I want to use Python 3. I think we did install Python 3. Uh, I think I just need another set. Um, I'm going to take a look at that entry point. That's in my other Emacs, I think. Uh, OK, I want to set the Python version, PySpark major version to 3. Uh, let's take a look at this Spark documentation here. It should be deploying Kubernetes. Python. Okay, we're going to set it to three. I thought we changed the default to three. It looks like we changed the default to three for the next version of Spark, not this version of Spark. So that would be Y. And we're going to set this to a three. That's a party. Okay. Uh, that being said, though, because we're using get or create, I'm going to want to start stop my existing Spark context. So sc.stop. And we're going to go. Ah. Why isn't it like this? What did I do wrong? Oh, okay, let's just restart the kernel. Restart and clear output. Import PySpark. Make a conf object. Configure the conf object. Create a Spark context. Oh, interesting. It looks like we need to refresh our tokens because uh, it's been a while. Um, so I can do that. There's a... Oh, actually, that is that is it, I think, right here. I think that'll do the trick. I might have to run it somewhere else, but let's... Cool. Um, I really want this to work. Damn it. No. I set my Spark Kubernetes Python version to three. Right? This is Python 3. Uh, import sys. Um, how did I get the. I had a sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is three six seven. I set Python to three. Why isn't it using my Python version string? Spark.kubernetes.pyspark.python version. I, I copy and pasted this. And I set it to three. 
backwards. Yeah. Spark Kubernetes, PySpark, Python version. I didn't say you delete anything here, right? There's this extra bit, but that shouldn't. Spark underscore Python. It's not set. I don't know why this didn't work, folks. Uh, but you could do it with a Python two kernel, except the Python two kernel is is all jacked up in this installation of Jupyter. Because uh, computers are terrible. But we're going to call this good enough, and I'll fix it later. OK, friends, it looks like um, this Python version configuration string isn't being respected. So I just manually configured it with the environment variable, which is getting picked up instead, even though it's unset. And at that point, uh, we can go ahead, and our word count actually does work. So we can go ahead. I'm going to stop the Spark context uh, for you so you can, you can actually see this run. And then we're going to go um, delete this one down here. Uh, kernel, uh, restart, and run all. Um, and so we can, we can take a look at this running. And um, I guess this is probably a bug. Oh, I guess I need to import OS if I'm going to do it this way. Uh, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a comment. Unfortunate. Uh, and I'll download this actually. Uh, so we'll call this uh, sample k-s client node python three example uh, in Apache Spark, high Spark, high Spark, and. You can see this work just fine. Um, I'll check this into the high performance Spark repos. Uh, and so that's pretty cool. Uh, if we take a look at our shell here, we'll refresh and make sure that there's a non driver executor. Uh, and then, yeah, so we can see that there's these two executors who came in from Kubernetes. So that's it. Sorry it took so long. Um, thanks for bearing with me.